All right, now we're going to do uh, adjusting hydraulic lifters running. The reason you'd want to do this is if you've got a uh, loose hydraulic lifter, uh, you might suspect a tight hydraulic lifter. Uh, whatever the reasons that uh, you want to do it, this is the way you'd uh, prepare your vehicle. You take your tappet cover off. In this particular case, the customer supplied me with a cut-off tappet cover to try and reduce the oil spillage. But the ideal tappet cover for doing these engines is a slot down the middle of the tappet cover. Just enough for you to get your socket through and then you can adjust it while it's running. Uh, the reason you want to do this is to prevent oil splatter and spray. I've got a piece of cardboard handy just in case this gets a bit wild and the oil starts getting slung over the back edge. Um, what will happen is it'll come out of the uh, push rod tubes and in some cases it can squirt quite considerably and, and uh, end up over the carburetors and all over the place, over the, ex the exhaust manifold and it'll be smoke everywhere. It gets a bit messy sometimes. Um, it's going to be noisy. Uh, so that's why I'm doing all my uh, talking now because uh, once I get stuck into it I won't be uh, talking much because you probably won't be able to hear what I'm saying. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start it while it's running. We're going to get the uh, socket onto the, the adjuster nut. We're going to undo it until it rattles. Once it rattles we click it back over and we tighten it very slowly until the rattle disappears. Then we do the next one. And you just continue to do that right through the 12 rockers until they're all done. Then you shut the engine down. Hopefully you'll be able to do all that before you create too much of a mess. So uh, let's go here. We'll get this thing started. And uh, I'll try and do this as quickly as possible. Righto, start her up. Okay, here we go. about it, now we'll get the engine to cut down. Okay, once it's shut down, just adjust them further, half to three quarters of a turn. I'll go close to three quarters. By the time you get your tapper cover back on, those lifters will have bled down and it should run pretty sweet and pretty quiet. If, however, your lifters are still noisy, then I would suggest that you uh, have a really good look at probably uh, replacing your lifters or uh, dismantling your rock gear and having a look to see if there's any bad wear anyway. Okay, that's it. All I have to do now is put the tapper cover back on and uh, fire it up and then I'll time it and reset the carburetors uh, and everything will be sweet.